Hey everyone. So we're getting into it right now. The lobby is up. All the players are in, so we should start very shortly here in a second. Uh, this is Fatal Uno casting with Sean DeCon once again. Um, we're going back into game two now of M5 versus ATA. Atta. Yep. So uh, let's talk about these two teams a little bit. So uh, what did you think about last match? Uh, you know, I thought ATA had a very good draft. They just didn't play it the way that I think they should have. And I think M5 did counter their draft. Maybe we, maybe I overlooked it, like specifically me, since I thought ATA draft was better. But with the Sun Wukong pick, it really, really countered ATA's lineup and what they wanted to do with that lineup. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think M5 they they really just like used the entire map to their advantage. They were always invading the jungle. Uh, they were, you know, just. Their positioning was great. They they were taking Zakara when they knew they had vision advantage. Mm -hmm. I think ATA did a really good job, but they they need to be aware of of where M5 is on the map, and they can't let M5 just take these easy objectives. Yep. So we see a uh, Cleopatra instantly banned by M5. ATA did play that last game, and uh, she was a uh, she was pretty good. She was really good at clearing waves on that high ground defense. So maybe that's why Lunaria instantly banned the. I mean, I, we can understand why, right? Like, she did a lot of work that last game. Stole Dragon in the early game. Was landing huge ults throughout the game. Doing mount, massive amounts of damage. Now they're looking for Poseidon. possibly... Yeah, Poseidon Ben too. Maybe... They're, looking, they're thinking about either Murdoch or Mikio. I think Mikio is a great ban. Yeah. He's so strong. He, he gives, like, a really good presence all game. They ban Lubu this game. I, I like the ban. M5 used Lubu really well last game. Always uh, going aggressively into the jungle since he does have a great amount of escapes. He can kind of get in and out of that jungle. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Lunario wasn't banned. Uh, oh, yeah, she was. So why are they... How are they hovering Lunario right now? Maybe it was a bug. Wolfram gets banned. We saw him get picked a lot yesterday and banned a lot. I don't think he was ever not picked or banned, actually. And then Freya, the last ban. Oh, so actually you're banning the Freya. Mm hmm. Oh, pick up an Ares. Yeah. He's he's a really strong pick. I mean, his ult is, is like, really, really strong, especially if you have heavy AP uh, ability power damage dealers to blow someone up with his ult. It's a really good yeah. lockdown, specifically against carries, so they cannot do damage to the rest of the team. We actually get Mur Murdoch getting picked up and an Aiden. Aiden and Murdoch. I really like those two picks. Murdoch, really good frontliner, has those stuns, can get aggressive. Aiden can sit in the back, use those illusions to scout, use illusion to do damage, use that illusion to escape. Very strong yeah. hero. So they go really aggressive here. Burninator and Guan Yu. Three up front tanky. 80 damage dealers. Or I think Burninator is an AD, but you know what I mean. He's an up front tanky hero. Can get some damage done. Lotus pick and Una. I think Lotus has slept on. Her ult is so good. Yeah, I think ATA's comp right now is actually really, really good. Um, Lotus is probably going to have to initiate fights and land a big ulti for uh, Una to set up her, her fireworks. That just yeah, even if she lands damage. like t a two man Lotus ult, it's still. A pretty big for this Una to just get out damage. And they go Zhang Fei for their last tank. So Zhang Fei and Murdoch, the two frontliners. We have Pyrus again getting picked up by no one. I think they had that in last game. He rushed Ing Mio's blade. Uh, and then Crystal as their other uh, backliner. So they have a, a three tank lineup in this in this draft with Crystal and Pyr Pyrus sitting in the backlands, hopefully doing the damage. Yeah, so M5 doesn't really have a ranged uh, attack damage carry, but they have so much burst damage from Crystal, Iris, and Ares that I don't really think they need one. I know that um in the last game, Pyrus did build attack damage -y, though. He remember he built the Igneos blade, uh, right, and he right, did right. build the Golden Cannon. I think he he has a passive of some sort that allows him to like put out a lot of ability damage based off his AD or something. 
I'm yeah, not so maybe he'll go the uh, the AD route and pick up a quick Ignos Blade again. Yeah, yeah. Good wards by Murdoch there. Or sorry, good wards by uh, M5 rather, dewarding Murdoch. Yep. So they just get their buff. <laughs> Zhang Fei gets his own buff pretty easy. Oh sorry, with Aiden gets his buff. So it's not going to be good to keep this Aiden in that top lane. He has a gold buff, so it could be pretty big. He's just shoving lane. Uh, do you like... I don't know, and from my personal experience in MOBAs, I never feel that shoving lanes is a good thing, but I feel like in this MOBA, the lanes are just constantly being shoved, and what I mean by that is, they don't look to just last hit the creeps, they kind of just push the wave, auto-attacking the wave down until they get the last hit. Well, I think because towers, um, you go down pretty quickly, so if, if you're able to shove and just get a little bit of poke on the tower, it's probably more worth it than to just let the creeps deny themselves. Yeah. As you I can agree. see, like, bot right now, just getting a little bit of poke damage from the creep from the tower. And it actually, like, chunked half a bar of the tower already. So I feel like pushing in in uh, in this case is probably the way to go. Yeah, you're right. The towers do fall pretty fast. It's just, it's very strange to see, right? It's one of the few MOBAs that you actually do want to push con consistently, right? <laughs> So a little poke done by Aiden there by Burnator. Burnator, you know, giving him some poke back on the top lane. Uh, Dragon's going to be up in 50 seconds, so teams are probably going to start to prepare for that. Shoving out waves, taking their buff right now. Looks like they're going to contest the buff here in the top lane. Pyrus and, Infern uh, and uh, Burninator. <laughs> Alright, throws out his Toro. Good steal there. Good steal there by Crystal. And they get their own buff. So now they're going to have two buffs for this fight. They have a good defense buff. Ooh, ulti from Ares gets blown up on Aiden in the first blood. It's a great kill there by F5, and now they're Absolutely taking their jungle as well. Melted. Yeah, good kill there. They just used Pyrus and Crystal Maiden. Crystal just to blow him up. Yeah, so the vision for M5 right now, they have that high, uh, high ground vision. So I think they're preparing really well for this dragon. They have two buffs that they picked up on the map. So it's looking, it's looking pretty good for M5 right now. Yes, they might be getting a free dragon here actually. M5 yeah, they instantly started. taking it right to ATA. It's already too late. They're spam pinging it. They're not spam pinging it, but it's, nothing happens. Did they get the steal? Did Murdoch get the steal there? No, I don't think he did. No, they didn't. But no. they engaged from okay. Wukong here. Good damage. Oh, Lotus with a huge ulti! No one there to follow up though! ATA nowhere to be found! They do go in on the on the on the Guan Yu, but Guan Yu does back up. Zhang Fei trying to get in there aggressively can't get anything done. ATA needs to have their communication on point. Lotus Land is a huge three-man ulti there, and there's absolutely no follow-up. And I think this is a thing that we've been seeing all tournament long. Communication is yep. a huge factor. Here on the bottom lane, Aiden getting going on, and he's dead. Yeah, I think the communication there from ATA is just not on. Players are just kind of seeing these plays and going for them but not calling it and then when they do call it it's a little too late yeah i think i just called uh Wan Yu there wukong because <laughs> he, he has that skin it kind of looks like wukong but yeah yeah he, he confused me too i was calling him burninator too for a second good jump in by Wan Yu. gets the stun on lotus there's an ult from Ares. can they get the kill good ult from lotus can they turn around this can they turn this around lotus does drop though to Ares. Zhang Fei pops his ulti, he's not gonna die, he does regain that HP. Crystal trying to trying to get people off of his Valhalla. Get off of him, he says. He does freeze up. Murdoch. Murdoch. Looks like they're trying to steal these jungle camps. M5 trying to take a huge advantage here. 3k up. Can get it. Ooh. Looks like Yeah, it looks like M5 is just gonna invade that wolf camp for free. I'd Sorry. like to see more Sorry, aggressive guys, players coming out of ATA. Yeah, I, uh, uh, the thing about Lotus is she's kind of a defensive pick as much as she is an aggressive pick. Like, like as we saw in that last fight, she used it very defensively, and her team needs to be ready for her to use that ult for her to be even somewhat used aggressively. Similar to Jean's ult, right? Yeah, Uno there actually had an attack buff for that fight. I feel like she, Uno, she should have just played really aggressive there. <laughs> She does have that high burst damage. I feel like they could have uh, taken that fight and not let M5 just invade their jungle like that. But, but 
I give AT a bit of credit here. They did lose a dragon. They've been losing. They're 3-0 down, and it's only a roughly 4k gold lead. Burn here does jump onto Aiden, though, doing lots of damage. Aiden kiting very well. Ares does use his ultimate. Lotus gets blown up. <laughs> here they are. Dark LFT, Zhang Fei running away. Murdoch does jump in, throws a, throws a hammer, does get the stun off. Now they're just stealing their jungle M5, putting out some deep wards in the top jungle. <laughs> Dropping back, it looks like they're gonna shove in this mid lane, try to get this mid tower, rack up some more gold. Yeah, and look how Guan Yu is just pouring in the bot lane. He knows that tower's low, he's gonna split push while they put pressure in the mid. Really well, uh, good rotations coming out of M5 right now. Yeah, yeah. Working really well together. Look at him, he's just diving this tower. He wants it. Does stun Aiden. Oh no, I thought he was gonna go for the tower. They have three here. They could have went, and it might be too late here. Burn air getting gone on by Murdoch. Murdoch. Burninator, Guna gonna try and follow up, but he does miss the stun. Yeah. I saw the idea there from M5, trying to dive this tower to get the kill and the tower, but it took them a little too long, and ATA did realize that and rotated quickly. Let's take a look at the items here. Guan Yu does build the... The... Oh, ATA actually starting as a car. Ooh, this could be a good play here. They're sneaking in. No vision from M5. This yeah, would be this a huge a really play, play, actually. They, they are behind. Risky play, but sometimes you need to take risks. Guan Yu does five see five. it now, though. Jumps in on Aiden. Aiden dropping around. Lotus with a huge two-man ulti. Can they follow up? They do. Huge damage coming out. And they do get the kill off on, on Crystal. They're jumping onto Guan Yu. Falls low. Paris really low, too. Murdoch looking for the kill. Good play there from ATA. Baiting them in. Guan Yu does get a, or no, sorry, Zhang Fei gets the kill onto Guan Yu, rather. And they're gonna finish this Akar. Dragon does get killed by Ares, though, in return. That's a good trade from M5. They're looking to find something else at the top of the map, pushing this tower top. Just tanking the tower, hopefully taking it. No, yeah, Murdoch doesn't allow it. They really need to port top right now and defend this. They do have this Akar buff. It looks like <laughs> M5 might actually get pinched. Ah. Will they follow up? Ooh, good Ares shackle there from Aiden. Aiden. Guan Yu does initiate. Lines of stun. He Valhalla. Defense buff. He's super tanky. Valhalla he's drops. Guan Yu is going to keep diving. He's diving towers. He's Pyrus diving drops solo. This is huge from ATA. Dropping onto Burninator now. Diving on him. Good kill. Who spins? Good stun. Oh, good oh, kill by Una! What a play by AT! They're just taking this game by control now with this Zakar buff. Huge, they're just turning around. They're gonna get a tower here in the mid lane too. Get a little bit more map control. And look at the gold graph. Huge spike. They are gonna get two towers in return here. The Burninator, you don't! He does initiate! Land the three! Murdoch solo! Murdoch really, really low. He does make it out though. Two towers for free oh, wow. there, AT. This ATA. game just turned from a 3-0 to 5-4. ATA taking full advantage of that that Zakara they did sneak. Look at Aiden here doing so much damage to tower. Yeah, they get another tower in the top lane. Yes, he has 12k net worth right now. Has an Igneos blade. He's outputting a lot of damage. 2-2-3. Two, two, and three. He was 0-2 to ATA start this game. Turning this game in their favor. Ventral Deity, good good item for uh, Zhang Fei. Looks like he's gonna go Ventral Deity. He does have the Titan heart, Titan's heart right now. Very tanky well, front There's a taunt coming out from Ares. He's right onto Aiden. Aiden's doing some good kiting. Lotus, he's gonna pop the Drop it so low! Aiden. Crystal drops around! Burninator misses! He's going in and right now. Burninator, he needs a turn and land a three man stun at least. Crystal, she's gonna get stunned. She's gonna get dropped! If you didn't see there, Burninator was in the Zakar pick. I tried to jump over with his ability to get onto that Aiden in the backline who was very low, but actually missed his ability and just stayed in the Zakar pit and just uh, blinked on his own on his own self. He missed his blink. Would have been a free kill on Aiden. It looks like ATA, they're just going to get two more towers for free here. Yeah, I'm liking the way they're playing. Good ulti there from Aiden, just making sure they get that tower down. Now it's a huge gold swing. Almost five, 6k gold lead now for ATA. Taking full control of this game. And this is more what I want to see out of ATA last game. Just really using their comp and having good rotations. Huge fight coming out here. Aiden does try to sideline the shackle. Good ulti there from Crystal doing a little bit of damage. Bringing them off. I do like M5's high ground lineup though. They do have really good wave clearing as well as initiation if they do dive. With the Ares, Ares uh, ultimate, Guan Yu snares. And they're just going around taking these free outer turrets right now. They know that M5 doesn't want to fight them. So they're just kind of getting the free gold here. Waiting on this next dragon it seems.
Yeah, the Sakaar buff actually just fell off now, so I think M5 uh, could actually take this next dragon fight, no problem. I think fighting into the Sakaar buff over and over and over again, just it didn't. the fights didn't really go in their favor, and Burninator, he really, really needs to land at least a two or three man stun for this these team fights to work out for the uh, Moscow 5 team. Moscow 5, just getting some deep wards, invading jungle once again. Not out of this yet, but fantastic job coming out from ATA. Being 10k gold down, bringing the gold lead back into this game. Just doing a, a great job. Dragon is going to spawn here in two seconds. Both teams. Yeah, M5 doesn't have full yeah. 5 though, this is going to be a dangerous fight. Burnator looks like he's going to try to steal. Nah, he, well, he goes for the mind steal, but he just misses it. ATA easily taking that dragon. I think M5, they just gotta, they gotta try and stay high ground right now and just take a really good fight. Yeah, I agree. They do have some good divers though in Zhang Fei who can't tank the turret with that ult when he drops very low. Nineteen point two K net worth on this Aiden right now, just going levels above everyone else. Ares, yes, very close behind, but he can get kited pretty easily from this lineup. He does have an Emperor's Armor though, he has an increased attack speed, increased armor. And here they go on Aiden, Aiden dropping super low, Guan Yu staying on him. Crystal does miss her ability onto Lotus. And they back up, that would have been a good fight for M5 if they could find that pick on Aiden, but he does get shielded by Lotus, gets healed up by Lotus. And now they're trying to go back onto Guan Yu here. Murdoch running Murdoch, in, does fun? jump. Oh, but great, great route by Crystal there. <laughs> oh, the so looks like they're gonna barely it. missing there. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta be careful here. Good Taurus out. Yeah, they're just wave clearing here. It's... So we see the Vengeful Deity coming out on uh, Burn Nader as well as Zhang Fei and uh, Murdoch as well. No one knows what that is. Uh, whenever you're attacked while you're popping your Vengeful Deity, you will return the damage back to that person, a certain percentage. So it's a good item versus ADCs. Oh, Murdoch with a three man stun with the body now just gets blown up. Crystal had no chance. That does not look good right now for M5. They get caught out. What a huge play there from uh, from Murdoch. They're gonna go back for this Zakar now. Yeah, M5, just, they don't have any vision on the map right now. They need to just try and get some vision up. Zakar does get it taken down by ATA. That was very smart from ATA. They showed Zhang Fei mid to make it not look like they're doing Zakar. And also they know that Zhang Fei cannot be killed because of his ultimate and they were able to get to him in time. So they just showed him mid, took the free Zakar, and now M5 is down even more. Almost 10k gold lead now. It's gonna be really hard for M5 to take this next fight, but yeah, I feel like they, they do have the comp to do it. The it's issue right now is Crystal is very, very low on farm right now, and she's a huge part of their AP damage right now. <laughs> M5 just kind of running it in. Trying to get trying to get vision back in their on their side of the map with the Oracle. Yep. Oh the Murdoch might catch pirates out here. That's not good. Oh, gets caught out. You just go in. You spin coming out into the center. They are dying though, they're popping the reflex, but it's not enough. M5 they have to retreat. Burnator, but Guan Yu's gonna go back in. Look, he's, the defense buff is just tanking so much. <laughs> Aiden does drop in that fight though, so it is a one for one, but they might lose this tower. Burnator jumps in, huge two man stun, trying to get their tower defense. They do defend this tower, they're gonna chase. Murdoch dropping so low, Crystal doing so much damage, does freeze him, but he gets turned around and killed. Crystal still in there, huge, oh, huge turn around there from Lotus and Una. ATA, they were so, so low that entire fight, but they do kite it enough. This might be 
the game winning push! As well as uh, Lotus, she was just healing her team so much. What a game from ATA. What a good comeback. That's one and one. One for M5, one for ATA. This is totally turning out to be a great series, Sean. Wow, that was absolutely insane. I think Lotus was super clutch that last fight. She was just keeping her entire team like alive with just a sliver of health. M5, they thought they, they won that fight. They were chasing all the way out of their base, trying to get those kills, but Lotus just drops the ult, heals up her team, and ATA just doing a great job just coming back into that game. Jeez, what a what a play! And, and to think Aiden dropped so quick in that like the beginning of that fight, we I thought M5 was turning things, and ATA just somehow turns it back around. Well played by them. Let's go into a break here again, guys. Hopefully this won't be as long as the last break. Hopefully the players have figured out their stuff. I think one of them had internet issues that they were fixing. That's why the last break was very long. But hopefully it will only be uh, five minutes, guys. Thanks for uh, sticking around. We'll be back soon.